Hey everyone. In this video, I want to dive into the term singularity as it relates to artificial intelligence. Now, while the term singularity is not new related to artificial intelligence, it's coming up more and more frequently because of the advancements in AI, especially generative AI. And we seem close to this singularity event, but what exactly is it? Now, if you think about intelligence, there are vast variances in intelligence just for humans. I can think about a scale of intelligence. So we could say the average IQ is 100. But we have people well down below. I think 25 is the lowest we have. And we have people very high around the 190s, maybe even higher. I think Einstein, Hawking are believed to be around 160. And as me, I can't comprehend the level of intelligence of those types of people. I would think an ant, for example, is probably way, way down here. It would have no ability to comprehend the intelligence of even the least intelligent human being. Now, if we think for a second, what exactly is intelligence a product of? Now, I could think that the intelligence, so I've got my human brain. So my human brain, it could be the product of the information we have been trained on. We have the information we got at school. We have basic skills. We have basic knowledge. We continue to learn. And that knowledge, the capabilities, are formed via connections between the neurons in our brain. And the ability to connect those neurons and be able to change them, that flexibility, the elasticity, drives our cognitive abilities, i.e. our thinking. Now, the speed of which the human brain can perform operations, this organic brain, I think is saying about 1,010, 1,011 instructions per second. So I can think about operations per second. Now, we're very energy efficient. We have very minimal heat amount wasted for this human brain. And then we have artificial intelligence, which has been moving up if we think about IQ and its capabilities. And AI and generative AI can really be thought of as a digital brain. So we have our digital brain that makes up that artificial intelligence. Now with this, it has parameters that form those connections between its neurons. So we have the weights and biases that drive all those digital neurons. These parameters and their strengths are trained based on the information given during its training phase. So it has that training data just like this, going in as part of its training. Now, a big difference today is once a generative model is trained, the parameters, the weights and the biases do not change. Now, the number of parameters, those weights and biases, is limited only by the hardware we can throw at it. And our engineering advances increase the scale, increase the speed. So these advancements in the capability abilities and the capacity we can make available to these models isn't really showing any signs of slowing. Now, in terms of the speed of operations a computer can do, it's hundreds of millions per second. So it's way, way faster, so much faster than a human brain, but they work differently. Our brains can do way more than just math, um, whereas this is really focused on math operations, so there's some differences there. 
Now, if we think about the improvements, today the AI models get better as us humans continue to refine them. We continue to refine the information that we train them on, both in terms of the quality and quantity. We make more and better hardware available for their training and then their inferencing. So today it's us humans are improving these digital brains that make up artificial intelligence. So the AI singularity is where these digital brains surpass human intelligence and will then start improving themselves, both the software and the hardware designs that it runs on. It would then recursively self-improve every aspect of itself. Just these continual improvements. And it would be able to improve many other aspects of technological development as well, hopefully for the betterment of the world. And if we think of these spectrums of intelligence, the AI would rapidly accelerate their intelligence way beyond what we could likely even comprehend nor even understand how it functions. We would, could lose control of that advancement. And that's why it's the singularity event, the point where in math terms, existing models break down and the outputs, the outcome becomes undefined. Once we have the AI singularity, it surpasses our human intelligence and self-improves in ways we cannot predict what that future is gonna hold. Many believe it will be the biggest change in the history of human civilization. And it would be an exponential growth. We would see its intelligence as it starts self-improving, just really ramping up in ways we couldn't understand. So that's the singularity and likely very much world changing. Uh, so come on, uh, nice AI systems. Hope that helped. Uh, till next video, take care.